This snow blizzard actually began on Tuesday, Wednesday morning as we were traveling I-5 South. So I've been uh, at this for a while here, still in the valley, and it's really hard to stay focused to the road, you guys, uh, with the snow blowing so fast and so thick. Um, don't know where the road is and where it ends, where the soft, soft snow is and where the, the additional stuff is at. And so as you watch the, the road, you, you get into this daze because of the uh, snow coming down. And so you gotta constantly look in your side mirrors and actually to the side to see if you're still traveling. Um, and uh, you can't take your eyes off the road and it's really, really uh, exhausting. So whenever you can, take a break, you know, um, take a break, especially if you can't see at night Take a break, refresh, and start back up out again. Generally, um, this area is always like this. And um, without a little bit of, uh, you know, endurance and break in between, it gets difficult to get through, especially at night with heavy amounts of snow coming down. This is us stopped up on top of the mountain at Mount Shasta, just uh, on the side. Snow is coming down maybe two to three inches some trucks were stopped over so we stopped as well some people were chaining up we didn't really have a need to we continued just after this trip uh, going southbound uh, onto the uh, sloped hill downgrade the temperature dropped to about 31 degrees and the snow was sticking and as we were traveling southbound onto a sloped six percent for what, five miles or so, 6% downgrade, it became apparent to us that uh, maybe chaining up would have been a better idea. It wasn't required, but uh, we should have chained up because we did feel the oversized load slightly shift left and right. However, we've been down this road numerous times before with the same weather condition, and no worries, we made it all the way to the bottom safely. We're still in uh, the valley and it's coming down quite a bit. Uh, obviously winter, the road conditions, ch carry chain signs were all over the place. Um, and uh, you know, it's up the road apparently it said that uh, the fastest speed limit is 20 miles per hour. So for the next 16 miles, we're gonna be doing a little slower than 65. And it looks like everybody's trying now really hard to slow down. and. Um, you know, we're still doing about 55 right now, uh, but it uh, looks like a lot of road up ahead is being uh, handled by trucks and vehicles that uh, want to just simply take a break for now. Um, it is quite mesmerizing to look at the snow coming down in your windshield and uh, keeping focus is a, it's, it's, it's a, uh, it's very hard, you know, sometimes. Um, especially with heavy sleet coming down where, to the point where you're uh, unable to see outside even with your lights on normal dim. Um, so that said, it's um, one of those areas that, you know, you just got to get through. Snow is part of our nature and we got to just manage to make it through various rain, snow, sleet, all those things safely. Making one last stop before delivery, we examined our tiny oversized structure and snow appeared to be encapsulating it all the way around. But we made the delivery and returned back to the route shortly after. Although, as we have done hundreds of times before, we have returned to the I-5 corridor and found hundreds of trucks parked on the side of the road. Obviously, you can see up at the front that the freeway is also closed. The state patrol has rerouted everyone into Ashland, Oregon to stop for the night or for the time being while they're servicing the I-5 northbound or southbound, that is, further on through these are some images of the traffic stuck in snow just up ahead on I-5. 
as they're being serviced. To ensure that we don't run off the road, we remain safely on flat ground onto the side of the road as we begin freezing to the road. Okay, you guys, so we are at a standstill here. The DOT has closed the freeway, closed the roadway. We had to pull here into a gas station um, and spend, uh, I guess, the night and afternoon and evening and morning. And anyway, they uh, basically are telling us that they're not going to open the freeway until possibly Monday. It is uh, Friday right now. Um, and then there's a concern up in uh, uh, Weed and um, further out into Dunningham. So there, there's multiple places the freeway is closed down. Here we are in Ashland, Oregon. Uh, so Oregon side is closed down. Uh, California side is clo closed down. So to get into Sacramento, you literally have to bypass this whole area, maybe get to I don't know, even if the free, if the uh, Highway 101, if you can get around that direction. But that means that we have to reroute our whole route, go all the way back, you know, three, four hours, and then go two hours towards the coast and come down around, supposedly, unless that one is also under winter uh, hazard or warning. But at this moment, it looks like the plow trucks are not really getting over they kind of had a, a mishap. They slid off the road. Apparently, the the DOT girl there that I uh, went and talked to said that uh, one of their plow trucks went sideways, and uh, they stopped all uh, plowing on this road um, until further, I guess, instructions. So they got the the trucks blocking the the intersections, the access to the freeways. Semis are not able to get through. We're not able to get through. Cars four-wheelers no nobody's able to get through at Ashland and then they were telling us that further up into California at Weed and through all the way through Dunningham is the same so they got those locked down and they got this locked down the chances are that they're gonna have these locked down until possibly Monday um, with the possibility of you know if the Sun breaks through and warms up the area maybe but uh, the information we have it's uh, it's not very good it's dire right now that it's uh, telling us that we can't get through this past uh, week we've been ma able to manage and squeeze through just before all the snow came uh, you know crashing down but here we are the snow finally caught up with us and uh, well the light the nice thing is we're not trapped in between if we were past this point and we were up norther northern or southern southern further south into maybe weed area well we would have been trapped in between two uh two major stor storms um ashland is hitting uh you know we have probably here about four inches five inches six inches on the ground and apparently there's uh 12 inches up in uh weed california through dunningham california so there's heavy amounts of snow falling up there and they're expecting more snow they said so the good thing is we're on this other side we can still turn around and go back and uh, maybe retry this thing out next week but uh, I'm still waiting to hear um, and confirm wh which way what I um, should what I should be doing right now but um, once I uh, get a, a better confirmation I'll decide if we're going to spin this boat around and head on back and uh, try it out next week. All right, so I just almost gave up on the delivery of this tiny home and returned it back so I can re-deliver a different day. But then I found an alternate route so we backtracked uh, about three hours out of our route and then uh, went back westbound on 199 
that's lending us an access to Highway 101. And 199 is less covered with snow, hopefully. We looked up on uh, tripcheck.com. We examined the route. 199, it's the Redwood Forest Valley Road or the Redwood Freeway that puts uh, uh, you know vehicles through the Redwood Forest, essentially through the Oregon, Southern Oregon, and uh, Northern California to the coast. 199 generally is a very nice uh, route to take if you're in a four-wheeler, a semi, and uh, tiny homes and oversized loads. Uh, it's it's windy, it's hilly, a lot of trees, um, and there's likely that there's a lot of you know obstacles in the way. Trees fall down here all the time. Uh, you climb, you descend, you climb, you descend. Quite a bit of that back and forth. But that said, from the looks of the live cameras, 199 is what I'm at right now. Is open. There's no uh, heavy amounts of snow on it, and the temperatures uh, in you know in, the, in its 30s. So that said, I decided that I'm going to take 199 to 101 South. Okay, once again we are reaching a closed entrance to continue on. We're on 101 Gerberville southbound exit 639 and they closed 101 as well going down towards Sacramento, San Francisco 101 is closed. They don't let anybody get past and uh, that means who knows how long we're going to be here. Um, this sucks. So I-5 is closed went all the way around the circle to get over here and now this is closed so I'm not sure I'm gonna ask this officer how long until we can uh, figure this out because uh, somehow I gotta get down from here about 300 miles to Dillon Beach because uh, somehow I gotta get down from here about 300 miles to do it. I had to backtrack because they have closed that up, came back down, came on 199, came on to 101. Um, all my all my uh, GPS is telling me to go 299 back to Reading. Yeah. But I'm hoping I can, I'm only going 200 miles down from here. So yeah, so it's, it's a hard closure right here. As of right now, we don't know the opening time. We're thinking tomorrow sometime. Um, if you have chains, they're required. You can take 299 or SR36 over to I-5 and then south. Okay, so you think tomorrow maybe this thing is going to be open? What's the holdup? What, what do they break down? or what's... Trees, power lines, vehicles are in the road. Um, ice, it's starting to cool off and get icy down there. So okay. Hopefully it doesn't snow anymore and we don't have any more trees to uh -huh. come down and prolong the... Did you allow already a, a group of traffic to go through since you closed up? No. Nope. It was yesterday when this thing kind of was announced or closed uh, down? Yeah, I think yesterday, late okay. last night or early this morning is when I believe it closed. When I got here first thing this morning, it was closed. Okay. So the chances are likely that tomorrow maybe sometime... Uh, I can't promise anything, okay. but they're working on it. Tomorrow. Okay, yeah. gotcha. pg and is down there. Caltrans is down there. County Roads is down there. Oh, so I'm a little oversized here with this unit, and I just I've had enough of you know this. I'm gonna hold up here until uh, tomorrow, hopefully. Okay. Yep. If uh, you want to go, I mean, you're more than welcome to park behind the blue yeah. semi if you want. Please stay to the right of this white line. Gotcha. That way you're not. In this line is, of traffic. Is there a fuel station up here somewhere or do I have to turn around? Yep, up here. Um, I believe the Chevron is open. Okay. I think the shell is out of power. We, we lost power last night. Too, Makes sense. So. Makes sense. Um, okay, I'm going to run over to get some fuel because I'm uh, running late. I should have took the first exit, but I came to, to see how it's... Yeah. Okay. Yep. So here's some of the problems that we encountered. Trees down on various paths, various 
open roads, electrical lines being pinched and pulled down. Um, also, you know, of course, the state patrol blocking traffic on all the avenues. And then the work crews were working real hard, very diligent to try to open up and move the trees out of the way so traffic can Thank get through. You. Well, everyone, uh, we're going to be staying put for a little while, or at least until tomorrow. Uh, we're here in uh, the fine city of, uh, what is the city anyway? Forget the name of the city. So anyway, uh, <laughs> we got to get some fuel. Looking around, it's uh, anyway, R Redwood Drive and whatever city this is. And I just added in my mind here, but I forgot what it was. Let me see if maybe this gentleman can tell me what it is. Hey, what city is this? What's the city? What is it? Gabberville. Yeah. Gabberville. Okay. <laughs> so, all right. So we're here. Okay. Anyway, um, so we're here trying to get some fuel and uh, then park and wait. But I uh, made sure that we take extra precautions that we don't park underneath any tree lines. As you see, these trees uh, are falling down. The branches everywhere in these communities are falling down. So you don't want to park anything this expensive underneath any trees that might fall down. Except I don't know about that tree. That looks a little crooked, but uh, apparently the gentleman here, he said it's going to hold out just fine. The weather has uh, changed or slowed, slowed down. There's not a lot of snow anymore. It's just clearing and cleaning. That's what they're doing right now. So the PGE, PGNE, whatever they're called, the crews are working the roads and uh, police is still uh, taking or blocking traffic. So they're not letting get uh, people go anywhere further from this point. And we are uh, blocked in, by the way, from the diagram you've seen there. Uh, we're st stuck between two places. We can't go north, we can't go south, so we're on 101. Okay, I think we finally made it, or at least they opened up the freeway on 101. I was here three or four times before, and all this traffic was all backed up. Now it's clear. Looks like they are letting go one lane only. only. That means that can get through. Uh, we're past this point. This is where everything was stopped before. It looks like they're coming up to a stop again, but the traffic that was here was released. So now we're ready to roll and uh, hopefully we can get going here. Uh, we've been here for three days almost on 101. Uh, the road has been closed, now it's been released. We're, we're basically waiting on confirmation to go. And it looks like the truck up ahead is leaving. The uh, gate has been removed. We are ready to go. We are good to go. No stopping us now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the state patrol has moved out of the way and uh, now yeah, we're good. Got just a flagger here that's identifying the conditions. Oh my goodness, three days into making, we're finally releasing yes, you the, are. the crowd. <laughs> so, you know, we're happy that we can get past this point. I've probably been here six different times and now the state patrol's gone and you're here. And you're, you can go on your way, just, just know that they're gonna stop you again in just a couple miles where they're actually doing the work. So just take it easy. Okay, okay. are we able to go all, all the way down to uh, Sacramento on 101 or to well, San Francisco? Um, I believe so. I, I, mean, gotta, I just got to make it a Dillon Beach only. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, once you get in Sonoma County, that's out of my area, so I don't pay attention to what's going on down there, but you should be able to get past Ukiah at least. Thank you, sir. Have a wonderful day. You too. And that is it, my folks, my friends. Uh, it's freedom. <laughs> that's the only thing I can express. Uh, being stuck up in this area and uh, blocked up, um, now we can head on out and go. It just feels uh, a little bit of a relief knowing that we can get through and they've cleared the passage. So hopefully our next stop is Dillon Beach. Okay, so we came across an accident. Looks like uh, one of our colleagues that was going up ahead, he ran off the road here. So he was going a little fast after all when he passed me by, but he is definitely off the road into an accident. Now we're gonna have to stop a little bit and deal with this. We met this young driver earlier on our stop and we had an exchange. We talked for a few minutes. He was safe when we found him here at the accident scene. He explained that apparently somebody pulled in his way and he had to swerve out of the way. He was okay and he remained by his vehicle. And so here we are making our delivery back in the unit in in the right spot for the client the client directing us where it wants the unit to be and so we made it delivered and safe perfect job